If you search for the fragment SSD on the internet, you will see a list of articles that tell you, do not defragment your SSD. Now, while that may be true in theory, can you practically defragment your SSD on a Windows machine? Hi, my name is Isaias Burnett from Burnett Tech Solutions, and today, I'll show you the difference between defragmenting and optimizing your hard drive and how this is really done on your Windows machine. The hard drive on your typical home machine comes in two flavors. There is the hard disk drive and there is the solid stick drive. What is a hard disk drive? A hard disk drive is a mechanical data storage device. It stores and retrieves data using rotating plates paired with an actuator arm that reads and writes data on that mechanical plate. Over time, adding and deleting files on a hard disk drive causes the data to become fragmented. Many hard drive disk manufacturers have mechanisms in place to reduce this, but it can still happen, especially if you have been using your hard drive for some time. When your data is fragmented, the actuator arm takes a longer time to retrieve data from the disk. This is because it is broken up into many parts. Here comes in defragmentation. Defragmentation is the process of consolidating the fragmented parts within your disk into one. The mechanical drive, in essence, can retrieve your data faster. It also allows for any unused space to be freed up and can extend the longevity of your hard drive. The way that the defragmentation process works is that it rewrites the bits onto the drive so that it is continuous. Instead of it being separated in multiple parts, when it is rewritten, it brings it into one. Your solid state drive, on the other hand, does not have any mechanical parts. It is a big chip. It uses only electrical circuits to read and write data within itself. It's already one component. The reason why defragmenting an SSD is a bad thing is because an SSD has a limited read and write cycles. Defragmentation would use up those read and write cycles with no performance increase. But your SSD also needs maintenance. Whenever we delete a file from an SSD, from our perspective, that file is removed. Because of the way solid state drive operates, that sector of your drive is no longer available. It is marked as no longer in use. That is where trimming comes in. Trimming tells the solid state drive that these sectors can be used to store information. The trim command helps the drive organize the remaining data field sectors and the empty sectors to avoid unnecessary erasing and writing. So how do you defragment and optimize your drive? To defragment and optimize your drive, in your Windows machine, you search for defrag, and you'll get the option to defragment and optimize drives. Now, you will notice that if your machine has a hard disk drive, you have the option to analyze and optimize your drive. You will see on the current status that your drive is okay and 0% or whatever the percent is fragmented. For a hard disk drive, you have the opportunity to analyze it and optimize it so that you can begin the defragmenting process. However, for a solid state drive, that is not the case. For a solid state drive, you do not have the option to analyze. You are not able to defragment a solid state drive. You are able to trim it. So on the current status, you will see, okay, X days since last round. Windows gives you the opportunity to retrim or to trim your solid state drives. But you are not allowed to defragment it. You're not even allowed to analyze it. You're only allowed to optimize. And that's it. That's how you defragment and optimize your hard drive on a Windows machine. 
you like this type of content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.